All right, so with 10.2 right around the corner, there's literally servers are going down in about two hours. I got to work anyway today, so I wouldn't, well, I'm not really worrying about it because I'll be at work, servers will be down most of the day anyway. But 10.2 is right around the corner, and if you watched my last video, y'all make sure to go ahead and, and watch that. Um, we have decided to stick with Fury Warrior. Now, we're going a different route. We're going single-minded Fury, unless... We're going to go with single mind of fury until we realize what the legendary is. If it is a two hander, we're half, we're going to have to go either arms or Titan grip, which would make me sad, but we will see how it goes and we will stick with SMF until then. But did a little bit of reading and research this morning and I did find somewhat of a build that I think can make single mind of fury somewhat viable. Um, everything on our left side is basically staying the same, um, except for I was able to add a point to thunderous words. So we're going to get the most out of thunderous rule, right? What we did, we tweaked over here. Of course, we're single minded fury, but we're trying out cold, still hot blood again, right? Now, looking at this, it makes our crit strike chances generate for initial rage and inflict a gushing wound. I'm trying to decide more if I want to stay with the traditional mastery build or if I want to lean a little bit more towards crit, maybe around 25% and then go mastery. But we'll kind of see how that goes. Uh, Bloodborne, bleed damage from Odin, Fear, Thunder, Roar, and Gushing Runes increase by 20%. So what we need to be doing, we need to be basically utilizing, uh, I want to say Dragon's Roar because that's what it used to be called. Thunder's Roar as much as we can. And seeing if we can get the most out of Gushing Wound. Now, honestly, I don't think I'm going to play Odin's Fury, even though it sucks that it's tied to our tier set. Maybe we'll go, we'll try some builds with it. It might be better on with, you know, things uh, once we scale properly. And uh, shout out to the homie that left a comment saying on the PTR for Mythic Plus that everyone would scale to 440. So I don't feel super bad. We'll see how we feel once our power level is increased appropriately to the gear that we have, right? So we're going with a blood more. We're going a little bit more of a bleed build with this. And then we swapped from Reckless Abandon, getting the empowerment of Bloodthirst or Rage and Blow because in 10.2, this has been tweaked. So we only get one use of the empowerment, which is kind of poop. Right. So we're going with anger management. This is trying to increase uptime um, on wreck and ravager. As you can see, we ended up taking ravager as a build. Um, Unbridled ferocity increases our, our has a chance for rampage and onslaught to grant us wreck for four seconds. So that's always good. Basically, everything over here is the same. We've got critical thinking um, just to give us 2% increased crit. That's just going to be baseline. Now, usually single minded fury, we would go ahead and probably shoot for Annihilator and for Storm of the Swords. I feel like going Storm of the Swords and putting Whirlwind and Slam on a cooldown is going to kind of honestly mess some things up, especially if we're not taking Annihilator and getting the most out of our, our out of our white hits. So we opted out of that. We opted out of Annihilator to go ahead and go with Rage and Blow. Now. What we did differently here, this time we're going Ravager, right? I feel like the damage from Ravager and giving us rage each time it hits is going to be pretty good for us whenever we need to pull some rage to maybe pop CDs and then and go ham. And then we went Hurricane as well while it's active. Uh, Chris, our movement speed by 5% and our strength by 5% stacking up six times last for six seconds. So while we're in this Ravager, we're going to Ravager pop cooldowns and we're going to go to work, right? Uh, the good thing about this with going the Ravager build, chances are we're going to have a lot of uptime because we're going to just be dumping rage on Rampage um, just as much as we can so we can get this to come off cooldown and also getting uh, Wreck to come off cooldown so we can just push damage, right? So I don't know exactly how this build is going to go. Hopefully today we can do some type of testing. Maybe tonight we'll do some type of testing. Um, just to see how we're going to look. And I think it's going to be okay. So 
I've been on the dummies just a little bit going in and popping damage. And it also doesn't feel bad. Burst burst is there. So we can actually burst a good little bit, right? Of course, it's not going to be like Titan's Grip, but we did get a good bit of damage from Rampage and the Thunder's Roar Dot. The Dot did 500k, and this is just on four targets that it hit, right? So imagine the damage that we're going to get whenever we get five targets up close, um, getting certain things to proc like our trinkets. Um, most of this stuff is just like a placeholder. Trinket is a placeholder. I'm going to upgrade the last bit of my gear before everything resets today um but this is the build that we're going with right now nothing has really changed outside of going gushing wounds and bloodborne and then we went ahead and took ravager and then added the additional point to thunderous words over here like i said we will be trying out spear bastion at some point just to see what we can come up with maybe it falls short maybe it doesn't um but we'll just have to see so do appreciate everyone watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later on in 10.2. Take it easy.